Before we get into this reaction, here's a little snippet from my new song. Talking about everything from life to death to everything between it was butterflies when you arrived, turned to carnivores inside, heating me up alive, just trying to survive. If you guys liked that and want to support my song, it would mean the world to me. Literally, just leave a like, comment, subscribe to the music channel. Me, just sign your life away. No, <laughs> but yeah, it would mean it would mean everything to me. The link will be in the description and the pin comment for that. So do it in your cool. Now into the video. Pull up, pull up, pull up on me. What's up, 3% gang? It's London and Kush. And you're on London time. Epic vibe time. That time. People can say what they want about this man, but he got the internet. He got the freaking internet. This hair in my eye, geez. I'm hella curious to see what kind of music he's gonna make after all of this, or if it's gonna be the same, it's gonna be different. If I shut up, we could find out, but I still have some things to say. So, too bad for you. No, you can skip forward. Anyways, I just went live before this and a lot of you guys were asking what I feel about the situation. He came back, I feel like, in the best possible way in terms of everything that's happened because he's owned up to all of it. Like, he's literally put, I don't know if it was on Twitter or Instagram, but his profile or both, his profile picture of him as a rat. <laughs> so he's just owning it. And then how he said the to Tory Lanez, he was like, put my song on or I'll snitch. He's smart for doing that because it's not like, oh, well, you guys would have blah, blah, blah. He's making jokes out of it, as he always does. So whether or not you like him, he's entertaining. And as far as the whole snitching situation, like, I, I can't really speak on it. I'm not about that life, period. But I'm here for the entertainment. And we all know he's going to be entertaining. I mean, two million on live. Just himself. Yeah, he did, like, say it a lot and made sure everyone knew about it. But... That's crazy. And this had five million in one hour. Let's get into this now. And recording screen and... <laughs> Why that scare me? I tell a nigga don't dick ride, don't dick ride, leave so a kid, don't dick die, switch this style. That's his girlfriend, right? Yeah. But tell me what we want, we want, mommy boot it up, she get down and gobble, gobble up, cut my money up, slide, slide in the belly truck up. What is that beat coming on the back? Also, my heart rate right now is like going up with the fucking song. I can feel it. Cause it's so like. Okay, yeah, he got a puppy in it. He won. I'm not even paying attention to the lyrics, and then all I heard was rat -ta, ta 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 Huh? I hear his voice, obviously. Because that's what I pay attention to when I listen to a song. If you're new here, welcome. That's what I pay attention to, the vibes of it, the beat, and the, like their emotion and their voice. And sometimes I tune out and forget to listen to the lyrics, which I'm getting better at, I feel like. But for being a reaction channel, <laughs> kind of gotta listen to the lyrics. But all I heard was rat -ta -ta. Um. And I was like, okay, so we are still on that gang shit, 6 9 We catch him at the chicken spot. I will come to child. That's funny. That's funny to me. That's a little bit funny. But then again, who am I? Because here I am listening to all the shit I listen to, and I'm not about anything of any life. So I don't make that music, but like I listen to it every day. So fuck it. Uh huh. <laughs> I fucking saw Show London. We smoke some weed or something. That's why, that's why the comment section is like this. I knew it had to be a lyric, but what the fuck? I've never seen so many of the same exact comments. And you saw the comment section. If you didn't, don't look at it because it's. <sighs> Y'all need to chill and think of something more creative. But I'm gonna go back and listen to this again. Are you dumb? Stupid, I'm dumb. Huh? Play me like a dummy, like bitch. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Stupid, I'm dumb. Huh? Yeah, you got some money, but you still. I love all these little cuts that they put in. Yeah, I pause a lot. 
If you're new here, just go watch the fucking music video if you don't want me to pause. The fuck? You dumb, stupid, or dumb. Like, bitch, get out your feelings. Kidding. Why did I put like on a mini New York accent? But um, I love all the little shots they're adding that's real. Like his girl falling. That was his girl, right? I don't remember. I think so. But and just random things that are real that happen probably not behind the scenes, but while they were filming that wasn't. It's not like the perfect shot. I mean, they also have some perfect shots, but they're adding those little things in there. I like that. Are you doing some drill? They're all pretty. He said they see me get excited. Okay, Fabio. Yeah, his girl is bad. She fucked up with that tattoo. She's so bad. Meek, Meek is pissed. Then again, like they have the right to talk on this situation. It's not like I don't have the right. It's just like my opinion is irrelevant as fuck when it comes to this because I already explained it slash it's obvious. But yeah, everyone's mad. Like he's literally coming back after snitching and I feel like a lot of people thought he wouldn't do numbers. I knew regardless, at least his first song would. I didn't know what the fuck his first song was going to be, but everyone's going to be at least curious. I mean, Meek watched it, said he watched it. Everyone's watching it to see. Because everyone's so curious too, I feel like that plays into the fact that he's just going to keep being him and doing fine. That's crazy. Fuck it though. <laughs> Shots like that, like his hair stuck in the fucking umbrella, that's not funny to me. Facts got a 10 million dollar deal as he was in fucking. That's crazy. Literally every single girl's bad. I already said that, but like for real. Damn. I don't know how I feel. It's like I like that song. How I feel about this, I guess, is uh. Okay, so we listen to rappers that aren't about it, but lots of the times we won't really know. Sometimes we'll know, but sometimes we won't know because I feel like there's a lot of people out there not about it that we think are about it because they play it off well or we just don't know enough about shit to like see that they aren't about it, if that made sense. But once you know and then they're still singing things like that and you're listening to it, it's almost like you're like listening to... It's almost like when I listen to younger artists, like Bad Baby. I can't take it serious. Like I'm not gonna be blasting that in my car. I'm not. This is no shots to Bad Baby. Like she took her bag. She has her bag. People are listening. Shout out to her. I'm just talking about like what I listen to. I'm not gonna be listening to her in my car, feeling like a boss or like. You know what I mean? So it's like the same thing here, but then it's a good song. So it's like. How I get my mind to forget that shit. And like take it seriously. Does that make sense? Nope. Fuck it, whatever. That's it for this video. So until next time, 3% gang, Lolo, Kush, out. Not a cute relapsing, what else can I do?